All right, hey everyone, what about here, and welcome to the Space Crew Demo. It's the sequel to Bomber Crew, but I really dig sci-fi visuals, so I'm actually interested now, and apparently people said it was good. So we're just going to dive right into this one, and we'll figure it out. Welcome to Athena Station. We have a mission that needs your immediate attention. I like the look of that ship. Metallic meteorite. It appears a module in the comms array by the moon is malfunctioning. We're not expecting any complica complications. This will serve as the perfect opportunity. Okay. We need you to go and retrieve the module. Repair it on your ship. Get hiccups. Deposit it back into the comms ar array. I... Okay, this is a... This is a bit of a problem. Oh, good. It says continue. Let me get rid of this first. Let's see. So I've got these. Select your captain by clicking on the, them directly or on their panel. And then launch. Okay. Yeah, I've never played Bomber Crew before. I know a lot of people really liked it, but I think it just bounced off of me for whatever reason. Deselect your captain by right-clicking. Zoom the camera. Boop. Wow. Okay. That's some pretty heavy levels of zoom. Uh, let's see. Zoomed out. Right mouse button. Rotate the camera of the ship. Spin. Click. Mouse wheel or... Okay, tagging mode. Well, in tagging mode, aim the camera at the jump gate. On the... Whoa, okay. When you tag a waypoint, for example, a jump gate, your captain will pilot the ship towards it. Why does it go underneath? I have no idea. That feels like a little bit of a bug in an oversight. Okay, depending on the waypoint, your ship will go towards it. Exit tagging mode by middle mouse or... Got it. Tab to enter fast forward mode. You can only use fast forward when there are no enemies around. Interesting. I figured this would be more of kind of like a... a FTL where you go from place to place. I didn't actually realize we'd be moving around, but that's cool. I love the fact that you can actually see the planet Earth uh, lining up. Okay, ready to charge. Tab again to exit fast forward mode. Select, select your captain. Select your captain. Charge. Charging for hyper jump. Power diverted to engines. Engage. So is this like bomber crew but in space? Yup, apparently so. Earth the moon. We are now at the moon. Looks like we got some uninvited guests. Our scanners are picking up an incoming phasmid activity to your location. We're uncertain how many there are on their way. Make sure all your weapon stations are manned. Okay, select your engineer. And move your engineer there. Oops. There we go. Engineer is now on the way to the weapon station. Okay, select your security officer. Okay. Click mouse wheel. Okay, tag. Well, that's kind of neat. Tagging mode is currently bugged out a little bit, but that's okay. So we can see how much shields we have. Well, we got to destroy the fighters. I like the zoom out function. This is a little bit better to actually see what's going on. I'm curious how much customization there would be for the ship. Because I would love to see like a bunch of different cool weaponry that we could screw around with. I appreciate that I only have micromanagement control over this. Good work. Uh, that looks like the last of them. Repair the probe and return to the base. Yep. Okay. Now it doesn't seem like anything's on fire. Okay, click the engineer. And bring him over here. So this is magnets. So we've got oxygen. I'm not sure what a lot of these are. Vector beam can be used to retrieve and deposit objects, as well as retrieving crew that exited the ship. Oh, interesting. Click your engineer by them on their panel. Got it. Retrieve.
to engineer engineer to repair it in the bay. We'll never repair the communi communications array component. Interesting. So then we're just going to send it off. Yeah, nothing's on fire yet. But that's fine. I'm looking forward to this. I'm curious how interesting and dynamic it's going to be. The idea of being one part, like, freelancer kind of game, uh, and one part... Let's see. Nope, not that. We want to go over here. One part freelancer game, one part, like, crew management. Kind of FTL style, but not quite. Is actually really cool to me. And yeah, having, having shields should help, and... Hopefully we get to customize more, because, like, it looks like this is somewhat modular. And so you might be able to move parts around and so on and so forth. Or maybe you don't. Maybe you just have, like, a couple different ship types. I'd be okay with either. Let's see. Tag the landing point at the station. Complete the mission. I get the very distinct feeling this is going to be quite the short demo. Let's see. Attackers did... did did do damage, though. Four shields dropped to 30%. Yeah, but, like, it is what it is. Looks like we also get up to six crew members. Apparently, Bomber Crew only had four. Is it possible to lose this tutorial? I think if you actively sabotage yourself, sure. All right, so we get some money. And we get some research. Huh. Be interesting if I actually got multiple ships, too, because it's just saying that one returned, but, eh. Now, do they get EXP? It looks like they're level 10. Maybe. Yeah, they do. Okay. So, recruitment. Well, we don't need new people. New recruits will come here to fill out your crew. Got it. What about crew gear? You can customize your crew's gear. Different crew gear will have different properties, such as resistance to damage, resistance to radiation, or improved mobility. Oh, they went with, like, a pixel style for the characters. It looks okay. Spacecraft. Okay, you can upgrade the equipment on your ship. You can also customize the appearance and name of your ship. So, armor. It looks like I don't have a choice unless I want to turn in... Anything and everything off. Oh, here we go. Here's some. So we got plasma cannon. Mark 1, Mark 2. So we get less money. Uh, let's see. Plasma cannon, auto cannon. There's also the Mark 3 cannon. And there's the rail gun. Okay, so we have two auto cannons, two plasma cannons. Let's see. So these are kind of expensive. Let's just go with the front one. Up it to that and call it good enough. Let's see. We also have low emissions engines. Oh. When damaged, puts out less radiation. And if damage leaks out a lot. However, gotta go fast. We don't have enough money for the other one. Well, we'll make it work. We also do not have en enough escape pod base. That's fine. If these people die, so be it. So I can also change their equipment pack, but we'll leave that for later. All right, next mission. Mission briefing room. Okay, so we've got rescue ast astronomer. Observation post located near Saturn's moon, Prometheus, has come under attack. All but one of the outpost crew have, been, have escaped. Professor Scott is the leader in her field. She must be rescued before the outpost is destroyed. Okay. We've classified information that the enemy champion, Vorb Kib, has been active in the mission area. Proceed with caution. Caution? What's that? Launch. Safest route, Mars, or... Oh, fastest or safest? Fastest!
I have no idea which one of these is the better one, but that's okay. Are we... I'm assuming we're going for the next thing. Yep, there we go. No jump gate in range? What? Okay, it didn't work. Now there we go. I must not have either tagged it or by setting him to defensive. It canceled the waypoint. I was just hoping that would change the AI. But, oh well, it's fine. Okay, run through how the reactor works. Go there, ready to hyper jump. Engineer's station panel. You can modify reactor output to the different systems. Shields, weapons, engines, and gravity generator. Okay. While charging for hyper jump, four units of power will be diverted and locked to the engines. Until it's upgraded, the reactor only has four units of power. So currently, all of your reactor power is being used to charge for the hyper jump. Notice your energy weapons are showing that they do not have any power to gen uh, to operate. I need a haircut. Hair's getting in my headphones and it's uncomfortable. Gravity generator and shield recharger will also be without power. After you complete your hyper jump, reactor output will be returned to the previous set balance, and everything will be operational again. All right, increased enemy activity. Cool. Okay. Using your crew's skills is key. Let's do focus fire. Let's give these guys crazy accuracy for a little while. Let's see. Nope. Here. Let's do defensive. Okay, how are my shields doing? Poorly from behind. Oh, gosh. Let's see. Evasive piloting. Let's increase our evasion for a while. Okay, boost the reactor. All into shields. We need to get them back into the green. Let's see, what do we have? Shield recharge rate. Emergency replenish the shields. I think we're good. EMP? But it'll mess with our reactor. Okay. Uh, let's go boost on the gunners. Unfortunately, I'm spending a lot of time not actually seeing what the heck is going on here. How do you guys fight? Unfortunately, my guys suck. I should have given them guns. Okay. It's fine. I think we're good. Uh, it's... Put you on gunning. Put you on gunning. Because we've still got a number of enemies that are just kind of in the immediate area. Okay, how are my shields? Doing terribly. Back to engineer. Uh, go back to this. Security there. Oh boy. Hostile life forms on the ship. I'm going to blow up. Overdrive shield recharge rate. Replenish shields.
Okay. Get out there and punch. Going poorly. Why are you just standing there? Fight them, you fools. Okay, this game needs an active... Do evasive piloting. Oh, the reactor needs a fix. Okay. I get it. Okay. Move you back in here. We don't want to do radiation. Uh, let's see. I don't know how much we care about a lot of these things. Is that the last of the enemy? I don't I don't know and I'm afraid to check. No. Okay. This is all problematic. How are we not dead yet? Oh, I do have a slow time. Okay. That's really helpful. Uh, let's see. Good at that. All right. Any of these guys terribly w wounded? No. I think we're good. Uh, let's see. So I'm just going to do this. Uh, let's see. So where are we going? Alright. So I think I mostly just want to heal these guys up if I can. Uh, let's see. Now do I have any means of fixing anything? Oh, gosh. Go figure we're getting wrecked from behind. There's a... There were just some dudes just hanging out behind me this entire time. Probably should have pulled the communications officer off the back, but... Oh, well. Okay, let's just... Let's just heal. I'm really curious how you repair. Because it looks like the back half of my ship has gotten wrecked. Was that a gun? Oh, I do have some guns around here. Can I just equip him with gun? Cool. Okay, I'll keep that in mind next time we get boarded. That we specifically are going to need... Let's see. We're specifically going to need more. Uh, so is there any means of repairing the back of the ship? It doesn't look like it. it does mean we probably want to move Uden to the back, at least for the time being. Oh, is this out? It's out of Healy Juices. Oh, that's a problem. What are your abilities normally? Oh, Fighter Support. Okay. Uh... I thought... I 
I had been under the impression that we were supposed to... I, I thought I had tagged that earlier. Nope. No way. No way we are not going to just get wrecked by these guys. Okay. Do some evasive piloting for a little while. So it also looks like having the back turret was a good idea. Do we go for boost? Okay, so that that's going to wreck those weapons much faster. Yeah, if they're just going to hang out directly behind me. All right. I got it. I think I understand. It's, this is a little bit more aggressive. I should have gone for the safest route, but oh well. All right, so let's go back to this. There we go. All right, and this time I'm not in combat, so I don't have to, I don't have to charge. Okay. Tab to toggle far fast forward. Okay. So how do I recruit this guy or do I just land at the thing? Okay. Oh, are we going to be wandering around inside the station? Or, no. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, launch. Because apparently, th apparently this thing's going to blow up on us. Okay. Go safest route. Hopefully that puts us a fair bit away from the station blowing up. And work for the safest route this time around. I'm curious what the difference is between the fastest route and the safest route. Okay, but well we got Vorb Kim. There's a bit of a jerk. I guess I should pay more attention to exactly how things are going. Okay, so it's going to be a little while before I get my boost. Let's give him crazy accuracy for a little while. Can we do both? Okay, let's just pop a lot of our basic abilities. We don't need the boost, and I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave the boost for getting my shields back. Never mind, we need the boost. I'm getting blasted. I guess we needed. Uh... I guess we need a lot of things. Okay, so there's Vorb Kib. He probably needs to die. More, more so than most. Now, we do have radiation that we could pop. Are they on the ship? Shoot. Okay. That's bad. We still have fighter support and a couple other things, but I think I want to put this guy on gun soon. 
Unfortunately, we have nothing else in medical, so that puts me in a bit of a pickle. Yeah, let's... We don't need... We don't need these guys on any anything else. We need guns. I could be wrong. I think my biggest failing the last last couple times I played this. Well, I actually have no idea. I have a lot of failings. I don't really know what is what is peak here? Okay, let's give these guys a boost for a little while. How are we doing? Gonna be a little bit. I can do some evasive piloting for some amount of time. Everybody gets sick. Oh, shoot. Black ball. Okay. Really wish Scott would be willing to help me fist fight with aliens. That's not alien enemies. Okay, let's get out of this. Okay, so far so good. We haven't died somehow. How many enemies do we even have left? Okay, do I have to- do I actually have to mark these guys? Wait, did I not defeat Corb? Did he leave? Well. I, I'm curious, but this game doesn't give me a whole lot of immediate uh, control over what I'm shooting. I'm mostly putting out fires and hoping I don't die horribly and dying horribly. All right, let's put some into weapons actually. Okay. We got focus fire. There goes another one. Oh, oxygen needs repair. Go get the oxygen quick. Everything is bad. Scott is on fire. Everyone is on fire. Okay, so I'm just going to put him there. Okay, so we have a replenish shields. Oh, there's atmospheric purging. Interesting. Alright, I'm fine with that. Okay, let's scan both of those. Give me... Give me that. Alright. I think we got this. This is tough. I like the idea of it. The flying is a little... little weird. Not gonna lie. But I understand how it works. It's actually kind of cool. This is kind of like real-time but slightly simpler FTL where you're not actually shooting at uh, certain ships like interiors and stuff. So you don't have as much control in that regard. Maybe you do eventually. But currently, no. There we go. 
And it's a bit of a shame that we didn't actually just... Uh, destroy Vorb Crib, but like, it's fine. Also, how is that the safest route? Gosh, I can't even imagine. What the, uh, fastest route might have been like. Maybe worse. Way worse. Ow, why? What? Why were freaking asteroids just coming to smack me in the booty repeatedly? We going? Nope. Okay, boost to weapons. Yeah, I'm just gonna go all in on gun. Because I was going for shields. Oh, there's a fire on board. Where? Oh, there. Uden. Okay. I would very much like to be able to control where these boxes are and some of the other things. Alright, well, we've got... You got that. Get out of there, Scott. Why are the enemies so much faster than I am? I don't get it. I don't appreciate it. Alright. Dunno. Alright. So, still got one enemy left? Is it just one? Ow. There we go. So you really do have to tag enemies to get them to shoot them. That's a... that's awkward. Alright. Well, let's get out of here. Yay! That was, uh, harder than I was expecting. I thought this was gonna be kind of a cute little FTL light, and the answer is no. Everything is on fire. Luckily... It looks like as long as my entire ship doesn't go in the red, we're okay? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I wonder if we get, like, really big ships. That would be rad if you could have, like, a giant 40-person crew or something. Maybe a bit too much. But fun? Well, everybody lived, everybody got some EXP, and that's fine. It's a neat game, so recruit your crew, personalize your ship, defend humankind, explore the galaxy. It, I, I hope we get more ship designs than just this, at the very least. Anyway, neat game. But for now, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.